expects to die. Nobody expects to be Merrill Hodge. And I, I don't, and again, Google Merrill Hodge. Merrill Hodge was a very good analyst on ESPN. His career ended not because he had a knee injury, not because of anything that you would normally associate with a player ending his career. His career ended because he was with Kansas City after he had left uh, Pittsburgh. He could not find his way to the stadium. He had to call his wife to figure out how to get to the stadium because concussions had ravaged his body. That's how bad it can get. You got players that, after their playing days, are killing themselves because they've had so many concussions. We can't. We can't do this. We just can't. Rest in peace, Julius Sayo. One of, and you know, he was somebody that I really respected the way they played the game. I had the pleasure. I'm old enough to say that I saw Junior say I'll play football. That was the way it should be played. He played with a controlled aggression, but it was devastating. Devastating so much that he played with concussions and never even told anybody. Like I was just saying, my coach said, if your head ain't hurting at the end of the day, you ain't hit nobody. But that ain't something that you really account for when you're on defense. You don't think about the fact that you when you when you play an outside linebacker, you are banging every play. You come out, you bang it. Outside linebacker, linebackers hit. You got one job, linebackers hit. That's what we was told. Because I played the same position Julian Sayal played. Outside linebacker, you hit. I don't care what's going on. You hit somebody. You hit the tight end. You hit the running back. If they leave, you block your way. You hit that fullback. It don't matter. You hit me. Over time, and you think about it. Think about the amount of hits you take. You start playing football seven, eight years old. He retired at 37 years old. That is 30 years. I'm <laughs> banging. Think about what you're doing in your head. Here's what uh, I found interesting. A lot of people don't understand that there are players that will have their bell rung, go out and perform well after their bell rung. If you do something over and over again, your body becomes conditioned to do those things. You are trained to be able to perform without thinking. So it is not unreasonable for a player to have a concussion, go out and play an excellent game, and then two days later, you can't turn the light on. You got headaches. Oh, it's just it's just a little headache. Take 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 two etc. and hydrate, and you'll be all right. I was told that on the sideline. They gave me etc. on the sideline because my head was hurt. I had a concussion. Little league participation is down thirty nine percent because mothers see this happen on Sundays, and they're like, nope. These paid professionals with professional doctors. Ain't no professional doctor at the Little League field. <laughs>